Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, welcome to another tour of a Salvation Army thrift store, this time in Port Credit, which is the southern part of Mississauga, the closest port to Toronto. Uh, a good sized store. There were lots of really uh, nice items here. There are actually some Hawaiian shirts. Uh, I think I picked up a few. Um, primarily for myself in this particular case, but that's okay. Sometimes they, I don't choose to keep them and I still do get get to sell them to you folks if, uh, if you're at all interested. If they've been used, they'll say so. But I have occasionally come across ones that were new with tags, so you never know. I'll tell you if that's what it is. That's a cool bell, but I think it was for a 25th wedding anniversary. That was a few years ago for me, thanks. They had, uh, like the usual setup in a Salvation Army, they've got the hard goods on racks with plexi as the bottom so the small items don't fall through. Uh, many of the clothing racks have a shelf on top, not as predominant as they are in most of the other stores. Here's an overview of the entire store. So it goes quite a ways. Uh, it's a good size store. I've seen larger, I've seen smaller, so this is a, but this is a good size. And are we still in the hard goods? So you can see there's the ceramics, the glass, and we're going through some clothes. Here's a first contender. I think I determined this was some sort of Philippine shirt. Um, I just didn't choose it, for, not, for no particular reason, it just didn't grab my eye. Here's a, another couple of contenders. Now this is one I did get. I think this may be a Hawaiian made, but Regardless, it was uh, really colorful, and that's what took the day in this case. I think I also got this one, the reddish one, not the greenish one. The greenish one was not quite what I expect from a Hawaiian shirt. Then into the other sizes, I do sometimes find them in smaller sizes than I... I like to look for them in the XL, double XL, or bigger but sometimes I do find them in the other sizes. And there's always someone that it'll be large on, so that's the, that's the key point. I prefer not to get the mass market types that are just trying to mimic the style, but I, I won't say I never do. But if they are mass market, the prices are or uh, that I, I will offer them to are somewhat different. Now there's a nice orange one. I don't think I, gra I grabbed that one, but I know I got at least two H&M. Ah, maybe this is the one. Sometimes I come across them and they feel just like they're straight from the factory. So. Yeah, see, there you go. That's the other one I picked up. 
I was going along here and I noticed there was these a bag, but unfortunately there's a whole bunch the same. And then you see all the other ones which are very lovely. The ones that were of any interest, they had condition issues, so they stayed behind. They had the fabrics and sheets and blankets and so on and so forth. I did find a, a either a swimsuit or a swim trunks or a sh pair of shorts that are Hawaiian shirt inspired. They're actually quite common. Um, folks are willing to wear something more colorful to go swimming, but they don't seem to always want to wear something colorful for going about town. I say that we're just sick and tired of all the planned colors and let's go to and have fun. I thought Westwood Avenue might like that hat. She said, maybe, but in the end it was, the head was, uh, the hat was too small a size. So that's where that ended. So here we are, we're going to the back wall at this point and we find the children's stuff is over there. There's someone there already, uh, sporting goods. And opposite that we have the linens and sheets and fabrics. Never know when there's somebody has a vintage piece of fabric. And here we here we are. We're continuing down, and we see some coats. There was some artwork there. We went along here. We see some small appliances, some stereo, well, electronics. Let's just simplify it that way. Some lamps. There's a mirror under there. They have LPs of some, some luggage. And at the front, they've got these showcases, some of which are auction. All right, thanks folks. Hope you enjoyed this tour of the Salvation Army in Port Credit, which is part of uh, Mississauga at the south end near the lake. Hope you'll subscribe and uh, give us a like and potentially even put a bell on so you'll know when the next video comes out. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.